Now, when it comes to great pets for our families, the automatic answer seems to be dogs or cats, and they're certainly great pets, but there are other wonderful options out there. For example, there's the world of reptiles. We know we actually have a blue tongue skink named Cosette at our home, but you need to do your research before buying, according to Dr. Susan Brown. Well, unfortunately, um, in the reptile, there's a huge trade in reptiles internationally. And unfortunately, a lot of pet stores still get reptiles that are imported. You need to do your research about that pet store and try to find out you know, where they're getting them from. Are they getting them from local breeders, which would be preferred? And of course, there's good and bad breeders, but that's a better start. Or if they're buying them from one of the large importers. Um, import, there's still quite a few importers and exporters, and that's where the majority of particularly the small lizards come from and some of the smaller species and some of the unusual species that wouldn't be bred in captivity. Dr. Brown says she knows all about reptile issues, and she does, because she founded one of the first exotics-only veterinary practices in the U.S. She says those imported reptiles do face harsh conditions and often aren't in good health when you see them at a pet store. So when you see them in the pet store, what you see is this docile, seems like really friendly, you know, uh, oh, this looks like a great thing, likes to sit on my hand, it's really fun. And what you're actually looking at is an animal that's dying. Um, just like any other animal, you need to educate yourself ahead of time. You know, this is a cool looking animal, let me go read about it, let me go find out more about it. Get some information first on how to house it, you know, and how to care for it. Because most reptiles die from husbandry problems. As with any, any pet, learn more before you buy. But especially in the case of reptiles. You know, sometimes a snake is best. Sometimes certain types of snakes are better. Sometimes a lizard or a turtle may be better. It depends on what you're willing to commit, what your expertise is. And believe it or not, there's a huge difference between some types of reptiles and other types of reptiles. What type is best for you? Well, if you don't know, contact your local herpetological society. They are there also to answer any care questions you have. One great example is chicagoherp.org. I'm Steve Dale.